Hi guys, I'm Angie and today I'm going to show you how I made this planter box for my neighbor Dorothy. Sometime last year, Dorothy commented on how she liked the planter bench I made for my front porch, so I offered to make a planter box for her garden as a birthday gift. She immediately took the offer and gave me a little field trip to her backyard to determine where the box could possibly be placed. I took some dimensions while I was there, along with some photos and videos of the existing condition, then went home to sketch up some ideas. So here's the idea. I'll have alternating 2x4s and 2x6s as my vertical pieces for the walls, 1x4s to wrap around at the top, middle, and bottom for extra reinforcement. Then I'll finish off with some decorative 1x4s on the top. The cutting part was pretty simple. I set up a stop block to do a bunch of repetitive cuts so I don't have to measure the same length 56 times for just the vertical pieces. For the horizontal pieces, I recommend waiting after assembling the vertical pieces then take measurement of the wall width and cut them after. I learned that what I sketch on the computer is not quite exactly what I get in real life. There were probably some tiny gaps between the vertical pieces, so if my measurement in the model is 8 feet, the actual length might be 8 feet and a quarter inch. By measuring and cutting the horizontal pieces after, we are making sure each piece fits perfectly. So everything that you see me cut here will end up being too short when you see me assemble it later. Aww. To hold the corners together, I pocket hole four vertical pieces using my pocket hole jig. I use the workbench top and its back edge as a support to clamp my wood tight while I drill in the screws. To assemble, I laid out the pieces on the ground where I think the box is going to sit and start to screw in the horizontal pieces to connect the vertical ones. Aww. After I completed one side, I ended up assembling on the concrete path of the yard to screw in the rest. Once I managed to attach all four walls and the top cover, I painted the box in white. To prevent soil from seeping through the vertical cracks, I added wood block fabric all around the inside. Around the time I finished the planter box, our city gave out free mulch which was perfect timing. I went and got some for the planter and some for myself. It would have taken about 20 bags of mulch to fill up the box halfway. So I decided to add some tree trimmings as fill material on the bottom and added only 12 inches of mulch on top. a planter for your garden that I made. Throw in your seeds, pluck out your weeds in the planter. Gardening 
a planter for your garden that I made. Water them well and watch them grow. Harvest your herbs and your tomato. Hey Dorothy, want you to see? It's a planter for your garden that.